guys, I'm selling Briar stuff. So I'm selling like saddle pads and tack like that. I'm not, these aren't for sale. These are just to show you like how some of the stuff works. So I have a traditional and a classic so that you can see how different things work with different things. So first I'm doing saddle pads. So this one is just like, these are all made out of like duct tape, and then some of them are painted. So this one is just sort of like a show pad. It's not very good, but this isn't the only one for sale. I can make more if, like, I'm going to say if you order one, um, I'll make it within like the first few days that you ordered it, and then I'll ship it to you, but I don't ship out of the U.S., Yada yada yada. So I'm just going to show you how it fits. So it's just like a regular saddle pad. And with these, you can't just. One sec. You can't just like shove it down because it doesn't fold that way. So you can just sort of put it under the saddle to start with, or just put it on the horse's back and put the saddle. So. It's basically the same for traditional and classic. It's a bit, it's kind of smaller than it should be. So you don't really see much, but it's still under the saddle there. And then, um, so this one is shiny because I painted it red, but when you like bend it and stuff, and you can just, you can also just pick the paint off. So I put this clear scotch tape over it so that the paint can't come off. So these two have not been clear taped yet. And if they're painted, I'm gonna clear tape it no matter what you say, unless you don't want it, but I think it comes out pretty crappy that way. Um, for the plain white ones that have like no paint on them, you don't have to get them clear taped, but I think it looks better. This one, I realized you have to wait for the paint to dry before you clear tape it, but it came out pretty well. So I'm just going to show you the saddle pads I made. So this one's striped. This one is made only out of clear tape. And it's sort of see-through because the clear tape is hard to paint on. I'm not expecting to sell it, but if you like, like the looks of it, then that's what it looks like. This one is clear tape. This one is painted on clear tape too. It came out a bit better. They're kind of like transparent. But I think this one came out pretty well. Um, this one was just a test. It doesn't have clear tape, it has a blue coating. So I just like squirted some clear glue on it. This green one, I did the same thing. And then I got the clear taping idea. This one came out okay. But I mean, the glue can crack too. So it didn't really prevent the non-cracking. So these all work this pretty much the same. But I'm going to show you the duct tape one and the clear tape one under a saddle. So now these saddle pads work for both sizes. So I'm only going to show you them on one. So... That's on. This one is sort of big on her. She's a classic. But yeah, that's how it looks under the saddle. I mean, and you can choose whether you want rounded corners and how long you want it to be. And you can choose all that stuff. But it's duct tape, so it's not perfect. I know the saddle's backwards, but that's the looks of it. Okay. And then... If you want, I made this really cool one, but I think I lost it. It was all clear. Like, it was made out of clear tape, but then I didn't paint it. Right. So, like, with paint, unless I clear tape over it, you can just sort of, like, scrape it off. See, I got some blue on my finger right there. So, yeah. So, that's the saddle pads. I'm just going to show them to you one more time. The black and the gray aren't clear taped, but I'll clear tape them. 
So if you like the glue coating, even though it didn't come out too well, you can you can order it. But I mean, if I run out. Of it. So those are the saddle pads, and you can order the color. But I might not always have it. You can order the length, like you want it square or saddle shaped or rectangular, how thick you want it, and thickness I do in strips. So if you wanted it like two inches, I'd say that it would be about three strips wide. Don't say three inches. Because that's just how I roll. And you can say whether you want it duct tape, clear tape, duct tape with clear tape over, all that good stuff. And then I made wither pads. They're not like your regular wither pad because a briar doesn't have like that and then wither and then but basically they just kind of go over like that right up on the wither-ish part and then we just sort of put a saddle pad over you put on your saddle and there you go so i have a couple different shapes i have this one which sort of fits on him just tell me which like whether it's classic or traditional so I don't know how big to make it. This one was sort of a fail. It was the first one I made. This one I made for a traditional, but I don't like the shape. This one is weird. So I was just experimenting. So yeah, you can have them colored. So the same like adjustments or like customizations or whatever you call them apply for wither pads as they do for saddle pads. And then the last thing, I um, made martingales. They're really not the best, but they work, and I'm going to improve them. Um, I don't know how I would paint them, but I can try. So basically, you just put it over his head. Head. This one goes all the way down to the base of his neck. And these are not adjustable martingales, so I suggest measuring sort of the length. So then one step while I get the saddle on. And so you just sort of want to treat it like a martingale. These only attach to the girth and go around the neck. Because I think I've seen some that also attach to the bridle. But, yeah, these ones don't. These, like the wither pads, you should tell me whether it's classic or traditional. But saddle pads, you don't have to. So, yeah. So it just sort of goes on the girth like that. I'm not closing it because the saddle is too small for him. It, um, it's a classic saddle, I guess. So then it goes like that between his legs, around his neck. And these are very easy because you just sort of put them on the girth. And you can take them. Ugh. You can take them off. And then you just slip it around his neck. This one I need really big for his for him, but most of them are small, and you're kind of going to have to, like, shove it, force it up over their ears, like so, put that there. This one doesn't go, like, all the way down. But yeah, so same thing. And then I made a third one, but I think you hopefully get the idea by now. So yeah, I'm just going to put all my stuff out over here. The saddle I used, the sa this saddle, the saddle pad, the horse, and the other horse are not for sale. I just needed, I just wanted to use them to show you guys how this stuff works. So... With wither pads, you can add them a different color. It's just, yeah. 
So, I'm going to say saddle pads are going to be, like, a dollar to two dollars, depending on, like, the color and the size and the yada yada. Um, martingales are probably going to be, like, fifty cents to a dollar fifty. And wither pads are going to be fifty cents to two dollars. Because, yeah. So, I mean, like, anything in the price range and... It's going to be in the description, so you don't have to, like, keep watching this video until you remember the prices. So, what I'm probably going to do is, like, you can choose your price around that price range, in, like, the price range. And if you, like, want, so, like, for a wither pad, you could pay, like, 75 cents. Like, so, yeah, I have price ranges, and then you can choose your price out of that. Does that make sense? I think it does. So yeah, I'm gonna have different saddle pads. You can choose designs. I can't do anything fancy, but I can like write your name, your horse's name, just like something, like some word you like or whatever. It can't be too long. It can be like this, the length of the saddle pad. Or it can be in the middle where you can just tell me where you want it. And... So, yeah. If you want to paint it on both sides, I can do that. This isn't very well done. But then, like, these ones are just sort of plain. On that side, I can do designs. I could try to do, like, a little face type thing. I can do polka dots. Paint splatters haven't worked in the past. So, yeah. So, you can sort of customize them in a way. I'm probably going to have more stuff later, but this is it for now. So, I think what I'm going to do when I make more stuff is I'm going to take it and I'm going to put it in our store. So that, like, if I make a store update, everything you see in there will be for sale. But not until I make more stuff, because, like, all this is not for sale. Except maybe some of the magazines. Those will be for sale. So yeah, there's that. And thanks for watching. So yeah, just email me, I guess. And we'll set up, like, your order. Okay.